Unit 5, Higher Education. Part A, Reading, page 52. Three students talk about their first impressions of university life. Read the passages and then do the tasks that follow. Sarah. On the first weekend, I went out with my new friends, walking around the campus. It was exciting thinking how I was at college, meeting people who could become good friends of mine. The most exciting thing was that I didn't have to explain to my parents where I was going, who with, or what time I'd be home. On Saturday night, I followed my roommate to a party. The people at the party were busy playing some game, and no one seemed to notice my existence. I suddenly felt so lonely. Fighting back tears, I ran back to my room, thinking I would never feel at home at college. Ellen. My roommate left the window open all the time, even when it was 10 degrees Celsius out, and went to bed at 10 every night. When she got sick after midterms, she blamed my typing and having a light on while she was trying to sleep. At first, college was a little daunting. I graduated from a small school. After seeing the same people over and over for many years, it was amazing, but a little scary, to be in a place where it seemed like I never saw the same person twice. Brendan The first year at college was probably the best and most challenging year of my life. Academically, I enjoyed it thoroughly. Taking part in the advanced engineering project gave me a chance to use my creativity and knowledge to help society. Socially, I made lots of new friends, both through engineering and living at St. John's College on campus. The social calendar of the colleges provides plenty of opportunities to meet non-engineering students as well as other engineers, many of whom have become my best mates. Unit 5. Higher Education. Part A. Reading. Page 52. Three students talk about their first impressions of university life. Read the passages and then do the tasks that follow. Sarah. On the first weekend, I went out with my new friends, walking around the campus. It was exciting thinking how I was at college, meeting people who could become good friends of mine. The most exciting thing was that I didn't have to explain to my parents where I was going, who with, or what time I'd be home. On Saturday night, I followed my roommate to a party. The people at the party were busy playing some game, and no one seemed to notice my existence. I suddenly felt so lonely. Fighting back tears, I ran back to my room, thinking I would never feel at home at college. Ellen. My roommate left the window open all the time, even when it was 10 degrees Celsius out, and went to bed at 10 every night. When she got sick after midterms, she blamed my typing and having a light on while she was trying to sleep. At first, college was a little daunting. I graduated from a small school. After seeing the same people over and over for many years, it was amazing, but a little scary, to be in a place where it seemed like I never saw the same person twice. Brendan. The first year at college was probably the best and most challenging year of my life. Academically, I enjoyed it thoroughly. 
taking part in the advanced engineering project gave me a chance to use my creativity and knowledge to help society. Socially, I made lots of new friends, both through engineering and living at St. John's College on campus. The social calendar of the colleges provides plenty of opportunities to meet non-engineering students as well as other engineers, many of whom have become my best mates. Listen to the conversation between John and David and circle the option A, B, C, or D to complete the following sentences. Now, David, can I get this right? You've just completed a MSc course on which a large proportion of the students were international students. Is that right? That's it. Yes, I was in AERD. That's the Department of Agricultural Extension and Rural Development. And how do you think the student from other countries got along on that course? Pretty well. What advice would you give to students, particularly international students, based on your experience as a student here? I think the most basic thing is to make use, full use, of the tutors and lecturers. Maybe some of the overseas students are a bit too shy to take questions or problems to tutors. What do you think they should do? I think they should find out at the beginning of the course the times at which the tutor is going to be available for tutorial appointments and then make full use of them. So, any problem they should tell the tutor as soon as possible? Let's move on. What about the amount of reading that you have to do as a university student? Yes, it looks pretty daunting at first with those long reading lists. Don't think that the students have to read everything that's listed. Try to find out which are the most important items on the list. Ask the lecturer or tutor if necessary. And then, if your time is limited, spend it reading those books thoroughly. Okay, that's very helpful, David. Thank you very much. No, not at all. Listen to the conversation between John and David and circle the option A, B, C, or D to complete the following sentences. Now, David, can I get this right? You've just completed a MSc course on which a large proportion of the students were international students. Is that right? That's it. Yes, I was in AERD. That's the Department of Agricultural Extension and Rural Development. And how do you think the student from other countries got along on that course? Pretty well. What advice would you give to students, particularly international students, based on your experience as a student here? I think the most basic thing is to make use, full use, of the tutors and lecturers. Maybe some of the overseas students are a bit too shy to take questions or problems to tutors. What do you think they should do? I think they should find out at the beginning of the course the times at which the tutor is going to be available for tutorial appointments and then make full use of them. So, any problem they should tell the tutor as soon as possible? Let's move on. What about the amount of reading that you have to do as a university student? Yes, it looks pretty daunting at first with those long reading lists. Don't think that the students have to read everything that's listed. Try to find out which are the most important items on the list. Ask the lecturer or tutor if necessary. And then, if your time is limited, spend it reading those books thoroughly. Okay, 
That's very helpful, David. Thank you very much. No, not at all. Part C, Listening, page 56. Listen and repeat. Proportion, majority, tutorial, international, available, appointment, agricultural, rural, thoroughly. Part C, Listening, page 56. Listen and repeat. Proportion, majority, tutorial, international, available, appointment, agricultural, rural, thoroughly. <laughs>